know how I was born. I don't mean that like the nuts and bolts, birds and bees, uh, sense of the, the birth process. Although that's a little bit, yeah. Oh, although that's a little bit fuzzy now too. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I mean, like that that one in a million, one in a billion, um, but even more than that. See, I'm a fraternal twin. My twin brother is so much more athletic, physically gifted than me that I have no idea how I possibly tied him to the oval. Uh, I, I'm crafty. So I think what must have happened is that I must have latched on to his flagella and rode him to victory. So, my brother, um, obviously being a twin, uh, I'm competitive, but my brother is so much more competitive than me, and so much more physically gifted, that whenever I would possibly challenge him, he would kind of stand up and, and raise his chest out, and at that point I would kind of curl up into a ball and uh, just like throw change at him or something. <laughs> So, as a kid, I was attracted to these movies like Mighty Ducks and Little Giants, probably because I looked a little bit like Rick Moranis. <laughs> and in one of these movies, in Little Giants, Rick Moranis has this big speech that he gives at halftime, and he says, you know, I never beat my brother at anything, and we used to race up the hill every day, and uh, I never beat him, but then one time, this one day, I beat him. At summer camp, at our tennis camp, uh, my brother and I, uh, my brother was number one on the tennis team and I was number two. And number two sounds pretty good, but he was, he was a lot better than me. It's like, <laughs> if anybody can, in here can name Peyton Manning's backup when he played for in, the Indianapolis Colts, it was kind of like that. Like, I had no chance at conquering my brother's spot. And so there was this tournament every year called the Public Parks Tournament that was played at the Arthur Ashe Center. And as was often the case in sports events, my brother won the tournament, but I got to go along and compete in the Public Parks Tournament uh, because I think my coach felt bad for me because I was his brother and she didn't want my self-esteem to drop. <laughs> so we went to this tournament together. And I won my first round, he won his first round. I won my second round, he won his second round. I won my third round, he won his third round. Now, at this point I was an adolescent. I was about 14 years old. And my style of play could only really be described as, as that of a pusher. And what I mean by that is, you hit the ball to me, I hit it back to you. That's it. That's all I had going for me, is that I could hit the ball back over the net when you hit it to me. I couldn't hit it in any particular place, I couldn't hit it with any particular kind of speed, but I could hit it back over the net to you. And when I served, it like went in that little square box. And like that, at this point in my life, that was good enough to win these three rounds. So I get to the championship game and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to beat Mike. And I, I know that I have no chance. So at this tournament, my family's kind of up above, and there's all these people watching us compete in this championship game. And I go in, and I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to play. My brother's so fired up about it, so excited, that I'm just hitting the ball back to him, and I start to get a lead. And he starts to call things that I think are inbounds, out of bounds. Um, and he gets upset with some of my calls and starts yelling at me, and I almost curl up in a ball, um, even though I'm on the other side of the net. <laughs> and I end up winning the tournament. Ooh, 
by the grace of God, I mean, it, it was nothing, nothing athletic. I was just hitting the ball over the net. Um, and so, going home from the tournament, uh, I have this big trophy, and my brother has a slightly smaller trophy. <laughs> but I am scared out of my mind, because we're in my mom's uh, Chevy Celebrity, this brown, boxy car. He's in the back. We're both big. Like, I'm, I'm tall, and I was about this tall when I was younger. And my brother was about this tall, but he was bigger. And he's, like, fuming mad that he had lost this game. And I don't know what to say to him. So I, like, I know he's going to beat the shit out of me at some point. <laughs> So I, I'm sitting in the front seat, and I turn around, and I say, Mike, your trophy's nice, too. <laughs> and he lifts it up and slams the blunt edge of it over my head. And I'm like, oh, I think I have a concussion. And I shout to him, uh, yeah, nice for a cereal box. <laughs> for coming from a cereal box. So uh, that was my one in a million, just like being born. Thanks.